Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan and welcome to a really wacky speed build. This is not my creation. This shell was actually created by Simmer Aaron because this is Simmer Aaron's wacky shell challenge. And for those of you that are wondering why the heck is this atrocity on your screen? Why are you building with this monstrosity kind of thing? Well, not everybody can build in The Sims, okay? You know what? I used to be a terrible builder. In fact, it wasn't until I started replicating Sims 2 houses and watching other people build a lot that I got better at it, okay? So you know what? Simmer Erin's not all that great at building. She said so herself, so I'm not picking on her or anything. But you know what? She decided anyway to see what people would be able to do with this horrendous, wacky, really ugly shell. And yes, yeah, she did call it ugly, so again, not making fun of her. But anyway, you guys, I decided to participate in this because, well, it looked like fun. And I actually did have a lot of fun so far building this. So I decided to make this an art center because I had a really cool idea with the rotunda or whatever the heck that thing is actually called where you know there would be like a loft or something and it would be like all around the edges and people would be able to look downstairs and just be able to paint on like the upper level and then you could also paint on the downstairs and oh boy that was that was really kind of hard to actually put into action because it was not as big as I would have liked it to be it's not as big as I pictured it but you know what that that's the whole point of a shell challenge. I can't change any of the outside walls. Well, actually, she said I can't delete them. So I just assumed that, you know, adding to it would be okay because she never said anything about that. So, you guys, I was originally going to put this in San Shuno where the um art center is. Just replace it. But that was like a 40 by 30 lot. And I looked this up and it was like a 30 by 20 lot. And I'm like, why the heck am I putting this in San Shuno? when there are like five 30 by 20 watts in Windenburg that I have absolutely no idea what the heck I'm going to do with them. And well, that really didn't do anything all that much either because, oh yeah, you can see this. This was like extreme. This is what I had probably the most trouble with, with this rotunda is just the staircases. Oh my goodness. I was trying to get a staircase that would fit in the little um gap in the floor. And, well, let's just say I had to basically put the walls at the highest wall height, which I don't understand why that even exists, because I think that's ridiculous. But you know what? For public places like art centers, yeah, that's a thing. So it makes sense that this would have the tallest wall height. And actually what I did is, like, the first floor is at the tallest wall height, the second floor is the middle, and the third floor is the smallest. So, yeah, it it's kind of like a th stepping stones like that. But anyway, I finally figured out how to get this thing to stay in the freaking circle. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. But anyway, when I built this, I decided to completely delete the art center that I had created myself in Windenburg. Because, well, it just wasn't good. I mean, the outside looked pretty good, but the inside just looked like a mess. It was just like, what the heck is this? Like, I, when building an art center, I had no idea what the heck I was actually doing. And now that I have, you know, it's been months, it's months later, and I have a lot more building experience under my belt, I decided, you know what, I have some ideas to make this look good. Let's see what I can do with it. And I also decided to make an art center because, well, the building itself can be art, so that can just really excuse the really ugly shape. I know, I know, it's kind of a cheap cop-out, but you know what, it works, we're going with it, and yeah, that's what's going on. So I actually didn't use up an unused lot in Windenburg. I actually, you know, replaced one. But, you know, what? it's fine. This is actually something I can use. And, you know, the first thing I did was, like, lower the foundation. Because, you know, Simmer Aaron just said, you can't delete the outside walls. Never said anything about the foundation. So I lowered it because, you know, I really, when I built another lot that was actually um, a rebuild of one of the Sims 2 community lots from Pleasant View. Because this is actually the neighborhood where all the Pleasant View people are. But, um... When I did that, you know, I tried to have, like, a backbeat, you know, like, a mural, like, a little communal area where people can actually do, like, street art and not get in trouble. Because, you know, there needs to be a place where people can do street art and not get in trouble because, you know, everybody thinks that they're just like, oh, look, it's vandalism. But if it's a place where you can do that and it can, they can just wash it off every day and everyone can come up and draw something on it, then it's not really vandalism. People can still express themselves. And so I really wanted those murals there, and that's actually a requirement for this type of building. 
So, and I had put those on the um, building that I had done earlier, but that was built on the foundation and the Sims, when I tested it, they actually couldn't get at it. So I decided to put them in the art center. And so when I replaced the art center, I decided to replace the murals. So that is why there is no foundation to this build. But anyway, you see here, I added the third floor and I actually did one of those um, window, those angled windows that um, it was a tutorial by Kate Emerald. I'll try to remember to link that in the description. But um, I actually really wanted to do that and it was really kind of hard to get it to work because I thought I remembered how to do it because I like watched it this morning and then I didn't. So I had to like watch it in the middle of the thing and it was like, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. So anyway, I just thought it would just make this, you know, that much more interesting of a build. It would really have been cool if I had been able to do that with the other two floors, but that would involve deleting walls and I can't do that for this thing. So yeah. This is also my first pack limited build, which I never do because, well, I have a hard time finding enough decorations and stuff to put in the house with when I have all the packs that I have. It, having a pack restricted build would just make that like 10 times harder and I build pretty much for fun. So that would just take the fun out of everything. But this wasn't so bad. Pretty much I was limited to, well, obviously the base game, but um, every expansion with the exception of Get to Work, and also Dine Out, Parenthood, Realm of Magic, Movie Hangout stuff, and Laundry Day stuff. So I still had quite a bit of stuff at my disposal to work with, so it wasn't that bad. And, you know, actually when I went in, I actually filtered out, you know, everything, just clicked the check marks next to all the packs that I was allowed to use. And then when I went to copy a window, it completely, like, erased the filter. So I'm just like, really? Now I have to do all this again? So note to self. Don't use the eyedropper thingamajigger, the tool. That's what it's called. It's called a tool, Joan. But, um, yeah, that was a really kind of annoying problem with this. Also, you have probably noticed that this isn't as edited as my builds usually are. And that is because I really just wanted to show you guys my whole entire process with this. Yes, there are some things I cut out. Like, I cut out me having to actually put the floor in the one rotunda room. And it was just really kind of just aggravating because, you know, when I put the floor in, it actually deleted the walls. Don't flip out. I put them back. So technically it never happened. That that never leaves this YouTube channel. Although Simmer Aaron is probably watching this. So I don't know that, that that'll be our little secret. Now, however, you know, I did cut that out because you guys don't need to see me do that. But, um, you know, I just wanted you to see what went through my mind, which I normally don't show because a lot of it, you know, you guys don't want to see that. You guys want to see the build all come together. You don't want to see me, you know, struggle trying to pick out which lamp or which wall color or which kind of clutter to put on shelves, you know? I mean, that's just, just like, you guys, I don't even want to watch that. So I don't think you guys would want to watch that. But, um... You know, with this particular challenge, since it is a shell challenge, part of the challenge is trying to work with the shell. That's what people would come here and want to watch. So I decided, you know what, I am going to leave most of that in so that you guys can see that because that's kind of what you want to watch anyway. So while I was kind of just revamping a little bit of the outside, you can see that I did add the pillars. However, they are simply facades. If you look and you actually go in, you can see that the original walls are still there. So I have complied with the rules. But, um, you know, I just figured the straight box is just, oh, goodness, no, those are some really just ugly buildings in The Sims. And I realize the Art Center in San Mishuno is like that, but... um. Like, really? I just I just wanted it to look like a real building, to look like somebody actually put time and effort into it. Because honestly, anymore, if somebody doesn't put, like, the, um, I don't even know how you call it. Like, if somebody, if it, if it looks like a square box, it honestly looked like somebody was just lazy and just dragged the thing and just, like, you know, you know the terminology. I'm not going to say this on YouTube, but you guys know what I am talking about. But anyway, while I was doing that, I was trying to figure out what kind of things would go where for this art center? Because, you know, you have to have a bar, which I don't know why you need a bar in an art center. Do people get drunk and then paint? Like, is that a thing? Is that, I, I don't drink, so I would have absolutely no idea what the heck is going on. But, you know, you could see me, like, like two seconds ago, if I haven't actually sped this up, because that's still an option. But I was actually creating, like, little um, rooms, and I decided to make those, like, little recording studios. 
And so I put all the recording studios and then I put like a couple of rooms so they would be like soundproof rooms where you can go in and you could just play music and not have like anybody else bothering you. See, I'm making them now. And then I realized when I was putting the doors in, wait a minute, I had, you know, the idea was that the, um, what we call it, that there'd be a window outside and there would be, you know, the recording booth outside in the common area. And then I realized, wait a minute, how do we get into the sound booth if the window takes up both? spaces. So I pretty much had to go back to the drawing board and you know the rooms that I was going to be the rooms that I were going to have be soundproof rooms are actually part of the recording studio so I guess they are soundproof after all but you know what it, it doesn't matter I had one big soundproof room in the end so it, I'll just like stick a grand piano in there or something that people can play in or something like that. But I was also kind of thinking, okay, it would be really cool, you know, if there were windows in the stairs, because that would be really neat because, you know, the stairs were like in the middle of the build and Simber Aaron wanted to completely challenge us with that. So I'm like, you know what? I really didn't want to do the straight stairs. So I just like twisted them around a bit and, um, Put like windows there so you could actually see people going up the stairs and it, it, it just, it just kind of looks artsy but it's an art center so like wh what do you actually expect as for what else there is to do here i'm gonna put like a little cafe in like the lower level because you know stores and stuff like that have like little cafes and i found the little cafe mug sign and i i just really like the way that worked out so i was happy with that and then i you know was sitting there kind of like okay what else can i do because i have to put like a woodworking table in there so i'm like okay i think i found an area for that on like you know the um what should we call it like the second floor maybe and then maybe there's like the kids room in like the first floor because you know summer erin she's like e i prefer you to leave the interior walls intact and i really only deleted one because it was in the way of a window and yeah that that just wasn't working for me but it, like i said it was one wall and um i basically put these like archways there because you know kind of like for a little i don't even know what the heck it's even gonna be it's probably gonna be like i don't even know what i'm gonna call it but anyway i'm sitting there thinking what else could i do in like this this art center and i'm like well what about photography photography is an art you know and well the thing is, is that I can't put tripods in there because those came with Moschino and I can't put the photo backdrops because that came with packs I'm not allowed to use. And so I already had a photo studio just like right down the street, actually. So it's like, you know what? I don't need a photo studio. But what if I had like a dark room and you guys probably actually have no idea what the heck that even is. So if, if you do, you're probably at least as old as I am because we had a dark room in school for a photography class. But um, anyway, basically what it is, you, you remember, some of you will remember back in the day when you took pictures on a roll of camera film and y you had to wait till the film was all taken. Then you had to take it to a store and then wait like an hour or a week or some ridiculous amount of time. Well, now it seems like ridiculous because we can take a picture and it's right there. You know, everyone has cameras on their phones. Everybody has a camera with them at all times. And then five seconds later, it's up on the internet. But back then, it was a completely different story. You had to wait like forever just to see if your picture turned out or not. And basically, before they even had that, they had dark rooms where you would, you know, develop the film yourself. So I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if I put one of those in there? And it would be like completely dark, so I couldn't put any windows in it because, you know, film needs to develop in the dark because what happens, how film is shot is that, you know, it it's exposed to light. And if you expose it to light, it just looks fogged and all this other stuff. See, this, this was like... I. I don't know, it was like 10, this was over a decade ago I did this stuff. So you, you can't call me an expert, but um, but I thought it was, you know, kind of a cool thing that nobody else was going to have in their build. And of course, a lot of cameras came with base game, so I can put them all like on shelves and stuff. And, you know, I probably will go back after this challenge is done and add some of the stuff I wasn't able to add for this challenge just because to make it look like... I don't, I don't even know what am I saying to just to finish it kind of, but for the purposes of this challenge, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pretty much make do with whatever I'm allowed to use and I'll just have to stick to that. So 
Anyway, I was trying to figure out how to decorate the outside because it wasn't really feasible to put windows in some places like, you know, the dark room or even on like some of the walls. It was just like, no, this was in the middle of a wall or this is in the middle of a bathroom or at least, you know, one bathroom had a window, but it's so high off the ground. Nobody's going to see anything. So I'm like, well, what would be on the walls? Well, it's an art center. So I decided to put some art there because, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, very revolutionary idea to put art on the walls of an art center, but there you go. Anyway, the wall signs were a little difficult because I had a hard time trying to pick something that I actually liked the look of. Of course, funny thing is, is that I thought that, you know, I had put the blue sign up there and now I realize that it's just the, um, what do we call it? The tan sign. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that or not. I probably will. Okay, but now you have probably noticed that the video is going at a faster pace and that is because I sped it up even more. I sped it from eight times to 10 times as fast because well, we're already at the 15 minute mark, almost 16 minute mark and I haven't even started furnishing yet. And so I just, you know, figured, you know, because this is a video where you wanna see my process of working with the shell, it, all that stuff would be interesting to see, but that means it's longer than a lot of my other videos. and. And I know some of you have the patience to sit through like a 20 minute long speed build, but I don't. So I just decided to kind of speed it up a little bit more and cut some parts out of it because honestly, you really don't need to see me do every single piece of the landscaping there is. But um, first thing I kind of ran into with this part was I had a problem because, you know, of the way I did the windows on the um, third floor, it wasn't recognizing the third floor as like, indoors even though it is indoors i don't know th th this game is weird the room system really needs some work but um since the stairs were connecting the lower levels it was also not recognizing the lower levels as indoors so i had to put like a little wall between that and the stairs and i was able to put like a little door there to open up the stairs and i wanted to do that on the third floor so that you know, the second floor would be considered a room, but there really wasn't any space to do that with the way I had it laid out. So I had to do that on the second floor. So the third floor, you know, it's still pretty much not considered an outdoor room. So the lighting will be, I don't know, temperamental at best, but oh well, you know, like, you know, I really should have cut this out trying to decide the paint colors, but I'm not going to do that. And I didn't speed up the um, old ones because... You know, I had already done the voiceover and I was happy with the way it had turned out and I had timed it just right. So I didn't want to screw around doing with that. And then of course there came the time when I was painting the walls, as you can see here, as you just saw, like, I don't know, like two seconds ago. But um, there was, you know, the um, windows with the um, columns that go out to the, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, they were, it was like an abrupt change. And so I'm like, no, I want that look stupid. I want to put something there. So I put some glowy purple columns that actually fit. And right here, you know, I was thinking, wait a minute. I thought they fixed that column glitch. Why is it only mid height? And then they realized, is bleh. Then I realized that it was because they put, I put the Frieza in there. So I was trying to find a spandrel that, you know, would make kind of make sense with this. I mean, it still kind of looks bad, but there really isn't anything I can do about this. And, you know, I kind of wanted a little bit of the art space to be on the outside, too. And so I created, like, a little pond and a little, you know, area where people could, um, whatchamacallit, paint. And just, just a little painting outdoors area. And I put, like, a lot of landscaping in there. And what I really wanted to do was put, you know, a bird feeder in there. Because, you know, um, people might want to paint birds or take pictures of birds. So I was looking for the bird feeder and I couldn't find it. And then I realized... Wait, that came with backyard stuff. I can't use that. So instead, I just happened to remember that Get Together came with a birdhouse. So I put that in there instead. I will probably go back once this challenge is over and put the bird feeder in there. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. Anyway, let's see. What else? Landscaping wasn't that hard, really. I mean, I, I didn't want to delete what was already there. So I just changed the color and I just kind of added a little bit more and, you know, I did the whole entire pond, the lining of the pond off camera because it's so repetitive and this video is already long enough. You you guys don't need to see that. So it, it just, it, you guys get the point. Other people have done it and it's just like, okay, I'm just listening to you talk now. I don't really care about anything else. So anyway... 
We finally move on to the inside of the building. I know this has been a long time coming. And by a long time coming, I mean just like, yeah, I've, I've done this and this is like day two of working on this. And you know, I had the idea of basically wanting like a two level painting room and I wanted it to be like open in the middle, like a big air open area in the middle, but I've already told you this story. So this is like the painting area right here and I'm putting like a bunch of easels around. And I also put like, you know, like little rugs under them because, you know, because paint is messy and stuff like that. And, you know, I also put, um, I had to kind of like wall off the stairs a little bit because it just looked weird. And I at first tried to get used some of like the wall stuff from, I don't even know what the heck you call those, from Get Famous, but that looks so stupid. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. But anyway, after I did that, the walls just looked pretty bare. And so I'm like, well, this is an art center. Why not put paintings on the walls? Because, you know, that's what you would do, put paintings on the walls. So there's all kinds of paintings here. And I also put like a little drying rack where you could, you know, after you were done painting, you could leave it there to dry. And then some um, canvases that you could, were free to use. So this area is, anybody can paint here that wants to, whether you're a professional painter or just not all that good of a painter, but you're just starting out. And I thought I cut this part out. Hold on. That, nope, I got to do that now. Okay, that that's pretty much done. And I also put, you know, some seating little areas in there if you wanted to like sit down and stuff. But anyway, the first floor of the art center is pretty much like a lobby area. It's um where there's a bubble blower here because there was one in the one that came with City Living and there was like a bubble, a, bleh, a bubble blower in like, oh, these are the art center items. And I'm like, okay, I'll just put that in there for something to do. And I, I don't even know like why that would be in an art center, I guess. I, I don't know. But um, anyway, I have the little cafe over here and that actually counts as a bar, but I don't have any bar stools on it because you know, bar stools kind of impede the function of it kind of. So I'm gonna put another bar in there because well, I pretty much have to in order for this to actually function. But um, I put some seating area there. I put like, um some clay stuff there so that people can, you know, work with clay. This is kind of like, oh, uh, what, what should I call it? Like a lobby area. There's like billboards, well not billboards, um, cork boards with like information of events that this art center has going on. And, you know, I did put a little area with, you know, napkins and tissues and Purell and all that other kind of good stuff that you would find here. And they would have like a little guest book, like, you know, how museums have like, you know, like a guest book where you can just like sign something, say, okay, I'm here. This is where I'm from. This is what I, this is, these are my thoughts about this place and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I put there. And, you know, I have this kind of thing where if I'm not 100% happy with it, it's not done. And that's kind of how I felt about the walls in this place. I would have liked to have called it done, but it just didn't look finished. So it wasn't done. And so, you know, I put art on the walls and like little decorations on the wall and even like a shelf. And I was going to use the whole shelf. And then I put the cabinets up there. I'm like, you know, I like the cabinet in the middle of the shelf like that. So I just stuck it there. Who knows if the shelf actually goes through the cabinet or not? Well, in The Sims it does, but in real life, who the heck would actually know? It, it's not, I don't know. It, it's it's kind of, I've been working on this for a long time. So, um, you know, and then there is the children's area. Cause I figured, you know, one of the things that you have to put in a art center is an activity table. So I gave the children their own little area and oh boy <laughs> yes this this was kind of a challenge because you know there were some kids stuff i wanted to put in there but i couldn't like oh you know what a puppet theater public places like this would have a puppet theater oh wait that comes with kids room stuff i can't use that so what i really did is i put like a little area in the middle of there that's like just an area where your toddler or your child can feel free to make as big and as much of a mess as they want. And after that's done, you can just peel it off and it starts brand new. And you know, it's just a way for them to express their creativity. And there would be like smocks here when you do that, but I, there's no smocks. So in case your kid's clothing does get dirty, there's a washer and dryer there just, you know, to use. And there's also a little vacuum that runs around and cleans up all the mess. And I wanted to put these garage paintings things in there because like I said, it's an art center, so there should be some art. And so I found a place for them to do that on the second floor. And originally I wanted to move the, um, whatchamacallit, the cork boards, but I didn't like the way that looked. So I just ended up putting it on the second floor like that. 
And now we're on to the second floor. And for some reason, the windows at the staircase just disappeared. And then I had some problems with the paint color just wasn't there. I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, this floor is where the bathrooms are. And I did cut them out of the video just because they're bathrooms. They're, I can't even do like the full bathrooms that I normally do anyway, because that requires get to work. So <laughs> yeah, but anyway, on this floor, I kind of decided this would be like a little woodworking area. So I put, you know, I mean, you guys saw that, I don't need to tell you. But I also decided, you know, I had some clay, like, stuff on, like, the first floor. So I took those off of the first floor and then put them up here so people could work with clay. And then I basically, you know, put a bunch of stuff that I figured probably could be made out of clay on, like, these shelves, kind of, like, to display what people have done. You know what I mean? And it, it was, oh my goodness, that was, that one I just cut out because it just, it was the normal, it takes forever to find what exactly I want to show off, and I want to do the same thing for the, um, woodworking, but, you know, that would require me going into the debug menu, and I don't want to record that because it kind of triggers me, so I just, I'll, I'll go in and fill that out before, you know, um, I upload this to the gallery, but... Now we are doing the um, camera area and I also want to put like some like debug photos of stuff in the one little room over there because there really wasn't that much to do with it. I figured it could just be like a little like sun area where you could stand and take pictures or something. And the really challenging thing was the dark room because I didn't have anything that resembled any kind of like tub or like light. I don't even know what those things are called, but if you've ever been in a dark room, then you know that there are like three, um, like th three chemicals you put your photos in the developer, the stop bath, and then the fix. And so I was trying to find out, okay, what looks like a container that I can put this in. And so I finally decided, okay, you know what? These kava bowls are good enough. They, they look just like really stupid, kind of like just kava bowls there, but I'm like, you know what? It, it works until I can actually use all the packs I have. And then, you know, but that's not for this challenge. Anyway, the upstairs I decided to turn into a, like, music area where you could do, like, performances and, you know, I, I put in the recording booth so you can record and I don't know what's going on with that door there, but, um, I put, like, child violins there too so children can come up and play music and all that other wonderful stuff and, you know, I had, like, a little concert area and then basically, you know, outside is where I put the bar and the little tables so that wouldn't be functional during winter, obviously, but you know what? It, it It's there. It satisfies the requirements. That's good enough for me. And I never really play winter in my game anymore anyway, just because I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. Like, you know, and when I'm, you know, filming and doing stuff like that, I really don't want snow on the ground because the stuff I was filming probably was around like, you know, early April, maybe late April, and I don't need, okay, yes, it does snow in April, but I really don't need the snow on the ground. So I'm just like, you know, I have little Destiny over here with the handy dandy weather machine and all of that good stuff. So yeah, anyway, you guys, this is coming to an end. Thank you, Simmer Aaron, for sharing the shell. It was a really fun challenge. I really enjoyed doing it. If you have not checked her out, go ahead and do that. She's a really supportive Simmer and really fantastic member of the community. And if you're watching Simmer Aaron, I just wanted to say right now, because I kind of know you're watching, that I'm sorry if anything I said got you down or made you feel like you weren't good enough. That wasn't my intention at all. My intention was, you know, just to try and help you improve your channel. And I probably went too far and I realized that and I'm sorry. But anyway, you guys, this lot is available on the gallery for download. My ID is Visit Joan. Again, the packs it requires are all expansions, except Get to Work, Dine Out, Parenthood, Realm of Magic, Movie Hangout stuff, and Laundry Day stuff. This lot contains no custom content whatsoever, but I definitely would turn move objects on before placing. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this challenge. If you did, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that as well. As always, you can check me out on social media. If you want to see behind the scenes, fun facts, or just snippets of everyday life, you feel free to follow me on Instagram at VisitJoan. And if you want to see my opinions on all things Sims related or updates on the channel or anything like that, feel free to follow me on Twitter at VisitJoanVideos.